G'day team, I'm Scotty Hyman and this is Hyman Habitat. Well I suppose after 30 years of licensed driving it's going to happen sooner or later, especially in the, the case of us with how many kilometres we travel. Last night, 10 kilometres from our destination, at about 6.30 at night, the dawn till dusk hours right, we hit a kangaroo. But luckily, um, fairly superficial damage. Bit of a, a dent here on the bull bar. Got to realign the light, she's still working. And the indicator's kaput, which has affected the electrics for some of the, for the other rear indicator. Now there's obviously some superficial damage up here. I can realign the spotlights and all that sort of stuff, and this sort of stuff can be fixed. But all you've got to do is get underneath your vehicle, check that, make sure that the fan hasn't been forced into the radiator. You're looking for leaks, you're looking for um, any major flaws or cracks where your, your bull bar is attached to your chassis and all those sorts of things. So before you head off again, like I did last night, have a quick check and then go see a professional. So here we have the superficial damage of an animal strike with a professionally installed bull bar. But in remote areas of Australia, this is what happens when you don't have one. That's a long walk home. Five to six percent of all roadside fatalities are animal related. Most of the times, it's not actually the kangaroos that you hit, but the trees that people swerve away from the animal and hit the tree. Luckily, last night we didn't do that. A little bit of controlled braking beforehand, and the animal ducked its head to bounce off, so he, he was able to be um, sheared off in the way that the bull bar is designed to do. So, uh, remember, control braking don't swerve to miss the animal and stay in control and have good products like the Red Arc Topro and a decent bull bucket.